Project Sunroof has helped countless homeowners understand if solar was a good option for their house. It was built by passionate Googlers in 2015. Today, based on learnings from the Project Sunroof website, the Solar API was born, taking things further by assisting industry partners scale solar installations. In this episode of this Solar API mini-series, we will take a quick tour of how the data and pricing works at the time of the making of this video. If you're not familiar with the term API, think of it as a type of digital bridge. It stands for Application Programming Interface, and it allows different software applications to talk to each other and share information over the internet. The Solar API enables the sharing of solar data to any app you connect it via code, and it currently offers out-of-the-box roof and solar estimations as well as granular imagery for those folks who want to build their own custom roof or solar models. More specifically, it offers aerial data at 10 centimeter resolution as well as AI enhanced aerial data at 25 centimeters or greater. The data is a combination of imagery plus elevation data in order to create a digital surface model. The aerial imagery is mostly sourced from Google planes flying over regions and all the angles from different cameras are stitched together using math to give it a unified top-down view for folks to consume. It also leverages hourly weather data in a year for each location and based on the specific elevation, the appropriate weather station data is pulled. Optical ray tracing is also performed to model the path of the sun. This is a method for producing visual images that simulate the physical behavior of light. This offers detailed information about a building and nearby objects like trees and other structures to determine shade patterns on its roof. And clouds are removed from images whenever possible. The data offers seasonal-based analysis, so you can see shade patterns from trees in the summer versus when they have lost their leaves in the winter. And we perform A-B testing, as well as compare with other ground truth data from solar installers themselves to test and verify data accuracy. Financial return on investment estimates are also provided for locations in the U.S. based on incentives and energy provider costs. Since the moment of this recording, the default solar panel assumptions made in the API are the following. If you wish to use your own custom values, you can. However, this is not out of the box functionality and you would have to create these from scratch. We do demonstrate this customization in our demo web app that's written in TypeScript. If you wish to reuse the code, it is linked below along with other helpful resources. There's currently coverage for over 483 million buildings in 40 plus countries, and we plan to continuously expand this. Just note though that the coverage amount for each country varies, and so if you wish to dive into the specifics of coverage, please check out our documentation linked below. For those not familiar with the terms raster or vector data, vector data means it's information about a point, a line, or a polygon. And raster data means you get images as pixels. In the next episodes, we explore how each endpoint returns data in those formats. And finally, as for understanding how billing works, always check out our website for the latest pricing details. But simply put, you currently get charged for calling an endpoint per a location. For example, if you pull solar and roof data from the Building Insights endpoint for a home, that's considered one call, which currently costs one cent. And if you then use the data layers endpoint, you get access to all the imagery data sets for that one location as one call, and that's at seven cents. So your total here would be two calls totaling eight cents from current pricing. And a couple of things to call out. One is that pricing is tiered, so after making many requests, the pricing changes to lower costs. So the more calls you make, the price drops. 
And second, if you get a 404 not found error message, that call will not incur any costs. Well, that's a quick summary of how the Solar API data and pricing works. Check out the links in this video's description and stay tuned for more episodes. We look forward to seeing what beautiful things you will build for the world. Cheers.